Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is safe and well and alive and healthy. I apologize, my birds are still rattled. I'm not gonna turn off lights and put them away in a room because they're going to, they're going through their own trauma with the aftershocks and stuff. So I'm sorry for this video. You'll have to bear with them a little bit, little Ricky. She loves to sing. Anyway, if you clicked on this video, it means you want some recipes and I have some recipes to share with you. So these are recipes for beginners. If you're the type of person who usually likes to eat out or doesn't really like to cook on their own and you're just like, dang this quarantine, it's making me learn how to cook. Well, here are three very easy recipes that I promise you anyone can do. I used to be just like you. I literally learned how to cook about a year and a half ago, which I never thought I could do it. I, I really didn't, but somehow it just all came together and if I can do it, you can do it too. So here are three recipes from Yazzie Girl to the Lazy Girl, but it could be Lazy Boy too, because no discrimination. Lazy Girl just kind of sounded a little bit better than Lazy Boy. It just rolls off the tongue a little bit better. So here's our first recipe. So first up is the beef and spinach scramble. Now this is one of my favorite and easiest recipes. So up first, we are going to heat up the olive oil and then we're gonna add the onions and the garlic. We're gonna saute the garlic and the onions and then we're gonna add the ground beef. After our ground beef has browned, we're gonna add spinach to our mixture. So I am using a bag of spinach here, but I'm not pouring it in all at once. I am gradually pouring the spinach in and stirring until it softens and then putting in the next batch. Up next is the seasoning. Here I am using paprika and salt. Normally I add crushed pepper as well, but during the earthquake our crushed pepper spilled and we just don't want to brave the stores right now. And lastly, we are gonna pour our two beet eggs into the mixture. And here we just wanna keep stirring. We don't wanna leave the egg in the pan to just fry on its own. You really have to get it scrambled. So you just keep stirring and stirring until the egg is all done. And voila, it's all done. Now you can eat this as is, or if you are a carb queen like myself, you could eat this with bread or tortilla. Mmm, and next we have the shrimp pasta. Once again, we are gonna heat up our olive oil. After our garlic has been sauteed, we're gonna add our shrimp. Here I'm adding some salt, some pepper, some paprika, and to add some spice, I'm using some pepper flakes and of course, fresh parsley. And we're gonna let all of those juices mix in together. And now I had already boiled some pasta to the side and the key here is to stir and get everything mixed in together before you put in the pasta sauce. And lastly, you're gonna add the cheese of your liking. And it's all done. It's as easy as that. Lastly, we're making some breakfast potatoes. Now first, we're gonna cut up our potatoes. We're gonna wash them, cut them. I didn't peel my potatoes here. They're as is. And then I added mini bell peppers. So I did add about 10 of them in here. And I used about a third of an onion. Next, I melted about two tablespoons of butter and added it to our mixture just to give it a little bit of a golden glow. And then I added some olive oil, some salt, some paprika, 
And again, I did not have any pepper because, due to the earthquake, so I did not add that to my recipe here. And then you just want to stir everything together and you want to stir it very well. You want all of your juices to combine and be equal. You're gonna add this to your baking sheet and put it in the oven at about 450 degrees and this will cook for about 45 minutes. You will want to switch between broil and just baking in between, maybe halfway through or a third way through, just depending on your oven. You'll wanna keep an eye on it. Just check the bottoms of your potatoes and see if they are ready to be cooked from the top. All done, they're ready, crispy, and delicious. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of hungry right now, and I cooked these recipes last week, so gotta go find something to eat. <laughs> if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, and there's a bell somewhere to hit, so hit that bell wherever it may be. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I might make it into a series. See you soon.